Welcome back to SmackDown vs. Raw 2008, everybody. Last time, we had a week off, and then the next week we were supposed to have off, but Stephanie got us a front row ticket so we could jump the barrier during Mr. McMahon's Hall of Fame induction ceremony for himself. And we interrupted that, then we got a two-on-one handicap match, and we completely destroyed those two guys. So uh, let's check our messages now. From the coach, I'm fed up. Support of you officially withdrawn. You want to bring down Mr. Man's wrath on your head? So be it. But leave me and Raw the hell out of it. I'll do that then, Coach. Don't you worry about it, buddy. We are going to do a little bit of a skill improvement. Let's do some fan heat training. Let me check something here. What's our health? We have strained contraceptives, but when does that end? Does it like... Do, 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 does it end anytime soon? I hope it does, but... Probably won't. Anyway, I'm going to save, because I haven't saved in a little bit. Don't want Xbox to somehow freeze or something, and then me not having any of that stuff saved. Anyway, we are back to number two after a long time of being down on the list, so that's good. Alright, anyway, we're so close to uh, New Year's Resolu Revolution, so I can't wait to play that. Uh, let's do some skill improvement here. Let's do some on-camera training. I would be doing the, uh, the training exercises, but with our injury, I don't want to take the risk. Especially right before a big pay-per-view, where I still don't know what match that... I'm in. That we're in. Still don't know. You are on a roll. I can't stop watching the Funky footage of you destroying the Hall of Fame ceremony. The look on his face is priceless. It is. Now all you need is a win this Sunday to prove that there's nothing he can do to stop you. Uh, there is nothing that a uh, little Vinny boy can do to stop me. Um. Oh, I thought we froze for a second. It looked like it froze, so I was going to say, I was just about to say, good thing I saved, but uh, it didn't freeze, luckily. But at least I would have had that saved just right before, so I mean. Anyway, let's do some microphone skill training. Let's check the magazine before the messages. WWE Champ barely survives ECW. Barely? Raw's WWE Champ Edge must be wondering if the price he paid for accepting Time of Dreamers invitation for a December dismember was worth the appearance on the rival brand's pay-per-view. You don't come to ECW and not expect something like that to happen, Dreamer said. That's who we are, and that's what we're all about. Edge wanted to learn the hard way, so we taught him. If he's looking for sympathy, he better check his, lo his own locker room because he won't find any in ours. I'm not looking for sympathy, so, uh, so you can forget about that. Following the vicious beating sustained at the hand of ECW, Edge, Edge now faces another challenge, defending his title at New Year's Revolution. Nothing, and I mean nothing, would make me happier than to see Edge lose his title at the pay-per-view, said Mr. McMahon. I'd rather see that belt around anyone's waist than that ingrate. Apparently I'm an ingrate now. Anyway, what's our match going to be? It should be announced right here by Coach. Let's just get through this. This whole situation is incredibly frustrating, and I'm not really supporting you here, but you have the title, and we have a pay-per-view, so the show must go on. I sure hope you're ready for your challenger, and that you're not too beaten up to make a credible title defense, because I'm embarrassed enough already. Don't make it worse, okay? Stay strong, coach. Okay, coach. I won't embarrass you anymore. You don't have to worry about that, bud. So, uh, let's see what our match is. We have no new messages. Let's get right into New Year's Evolution. Triple H versus the Great Kali. Candice versus Mickey. We have a tag team. <laughs> Are you fucking kidding me? You have gotta be kidding me. Fucking Kenny Dykstra. Oh my god. 
Jesus fucking Christ! For fuck's sakes, Kenny Dykes, really? Fucking Kenny Dykstra is who you get for me? Kenny Dykstra. Let that sink in, guys. Let that sink in. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. Oh, I like these the packages. And if the challenger has his way, we'll have a new champion tonight. The champ has taken on all covers. But let that sink in, seriously. Yeah, but he made an enemy of Mr. McMahon in the process. That never happened. I did that. He never did that to me. But Kenny Dykstra, really? And if everyone in the back, you pick Kenny Dykstra. Come on. And now, uh, this is going to be the easiest match I think I've had. It's going to literally be like three minutes. If that, if that, if that. One finisher, two finishers, this guy's done. He's been named the number one contender. And this might well be the biggest opportunity of his career. This is. I've said it before and I'll say oh. it again. The champ cannot afford to underestimate this man. Not if he wants to leave with the title. Well, I have really underestimated this man. And JR, this is the biggest opportunity of his career. He'll never get this opportunity again. You think you know. He's made an enemy of Mr. McMahon. He's been targeted by ECW. And his championship is on the line here tonight. Happy New Year, champ! He might get overthrown here at New Year's Revolution. Yeah, that's not happening. Kenny Dykstra is going to be the easiest title defense I have ever had. There's no uh, Elimination Chamber match. Usually this is where they always have the Elimination Chamber matches. Unless I'm remembering completely, completely wrong for Elimination Chamber matches at this pay-per-view. Oh, I could still spin the title even when the ref had it. I didn't know that. Anyway, this is going to be a very easy match. Now, this could turn out to be like December to Dismember, where they come out and they give me more opponents after Kenny Dykstra, and that's why it's the easiest guy first, but that's not what I'm expecting, so. But I could be completely wrong. Anyway, there's no point in watching that. Let's just get... Oh! Kenny Dykstra's putting up more fight than I ever thought he would. Oh shit, he really is putting up a bit more of a fight than I had thought. There's no doubt that Kenny Dykstra doesn't have a great upside, but he also has a tendency... I shouldn't have underestimated him, I guess, uh, King was right. King was right, I shouldn't have underestimated Kenny Dykstra. He's putting up more than a fight than I ever thought he would, but the fight's over now. Now this is what I call domination. I think we're going to find out just how much punishment that, oh, that was right in the ropes. Come on, Kenny. What do you think you're doing, man? Get your shit together, Kenny. You knew that was in the ropes, so you did it anyway. Only fools like you would make such a rookie mistake. Honestly, King, I have absolutely no idea. Anything can happen here in the WWE. Shit. But you've got to have a guess, right? I might, but I'd rather keep it to myself. It's all the same to you, King. Get down, fucking asshole. Fucking asshole! You gotta respect the commitment and the dedication of these superstars to their careers. No question about it, King. Well, Kenny's being a little bit, uh, more of a fight than I thought he would, so I guess there's that, but... Any other professional athlete I know. It really He's still not gonna win. To your career. There's not much room for anything else. And marriage is a subject which you happen to be something of an authority. Isn't that right, King? Come on now, JR. A man doesn't know what true happiness is until he's married. And then it's too it's late. It's over. Or too late. I was close with what the line was. I hate the commentary in this game so much. Ruthless aggression. Look at the way these so much. Going after each other. They're not playing with kid gloves, that's for sure. We knew we were going to see a heck of a match, but this might turn out to be... No. Go ahead and say it, JR. All right, I will. I think this one's got all the makings of a bona fide slobber knocker. Uh. 
Hmm. He's putting up a lot more fight than I thought he would. Oh shit. I can't lose the title to this guy. No, it just can it can't happen. It can't happen. It cannot happen. I will not let that happen. Get the fuck off me. Kenny, how many times are you gonna do this shit? I don't think I want to know, quite frankly. Kenny! How many fucking times, man? Learn some new shit! Yeah, fuck you, Kenny. How many times are you going to try to pull off that shit? Look at this! Look at this! You talk about a house of fire, you're seeing it right here! You son of a bitch, Kenny. Put out that fire, or this one's not gonna end well. Kenny, what the fuck do you think you're doing? Can you believe we actually get paid to do this job, JR? It's like a dream come true, King. Except when I have to sit here and listen to you drool over the divas. Come on, JR. You know I'm helpless when it comes to puppies. Oh, I know, King. And that's why Motherfucker! Why is he reversing everything? If he wasn't reversing everything I do to him, I'd have no problem with this match. This is but this stupid asshole thinks he's being a cool That's man, a being a cool guy. You stupid son right, of a... Jay. Look at this, again! This kind of with Smack the reversals. Not on SmackDown or anywhere else. There's nothing else out there that can come close yeah. to the excitement. Fucking Kenny Dykstra, man. Perform live. And what what does he do again? He fucking reverse it. Oh, this son of a bitch is really pissing me off. The superstars are beating the heck out of each other, and this crowd can't get enough of it. But well, what is going on here? And they're getting their money's worth tonight. This is asinine. He should not be reversing like this. Climbing up the turnbuckle isn't bad. It's all the ways you could come down that hurt. Yeah, like that way, right there. You son of a bitch, you stop reversing every move I do to you, okay? And I get poked in the eyes. Lovely. Stupid asshole. Asshole. I've really called him an asshole a lot this match. And that's coming through loud and clear. There, take a freaking spear, you stupid shithead. And I'm st I'm sorry for the excessive swearing in this episode, but Kenny's reversal shit really got me got me angry. It's over now, though. One, two, three. Well, from the looks of things, it's for a quick second there. I thought that he might somehow pick up a victory when he had that finisher. Bucky for me, he didn't. Because that would have just been very embarrassing. I did underestimate Kenny Dykstra quite a bit. But as I said, if it wasn't for his uh, reversing, it wouldn't have mattered. Fuck Mr. McMahon, god damn it. I've beat everything him and Dreamer have thrown at me, okay? Everybody they've thrown at me has been defeated. Alright, and we will check this message from Stephanie when we come back. For the next episode of SmackDown vs. Rock 2008, I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. Leave some, show some support, leave a like, leave a comment, favorite, whatever you guys want to do. And I hope to see you guys 
in the next episode.